Two men journey to the bars and restaurants of Scandinavia to find amazing beers, always with the same question. Hey, what's on tap? It's time to find out. Day 23. Twas the night before Christmas, a the, visit from St. Nicholas. The pint ultimate, what? It's like an old poem. Yeah. Twas the night before Christmas. You never heard of this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the second line of that threw me off because that's not how the line goes. I'll, I'll consult my. Okay. Well, you look that up. Okay. Uh, so, "Twas the night before Christmas, a visit from Saint Nicholas." That's the name of the poem. That's the name of the poem. Okay, that's the full name of the poem. I never, I've only ever heard it as the "Twas the night before Christmas." Ah. I didn't know that. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Google, for okay. these amazing t- things. Wow. Well, yes. Um, oh, it's a pint ultimate episode. Yes. I just like using that word because I don't get to use it very often. I uh, like it too. <laughs> uh, today we have Blizzard in a beer mug, which is a winter wheat uh, India pale ale. Like the Blizzard of 78 in New England, this winter wheat IPA will lie as a turbid thunderstorm in your beer mug. No fuss, but fat, fruity, and full body. Comes in at a 6%. So we are continuing that slow ABV crawl crawl upwards. Yes. This is semi hazy. It's not see through, but this it's is, not the thick hazy uh, chaos. By total standards, this is practically a super hazy, <laughs> super hazy IPA. <laughs> Be- because when I hear blizzard in a beer mug, beer mug mm-hmm. I hear hazy. Right. Yeah, you're not supposed to see through a bit blizzard. But by total standards, this is. This is super hazy. <laughs> yes, it does. It does smell both uh, IPA ish and wheat ish. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I like that it combination. Does, it smells quite fresh in the hops. Yeah. In the, I mean, it doesn't smell tired like the uh, Garden of Eden did. No. Yeah. All right, I'm looking forward to this bad boy. Yes. Let's do this. Cheers. Mm. Yeah, that works. That's, that's really good. That this works. Is another. Um, with a high mark for the for the calendar. Before we, we say what it tastes like, yeah. I just want to sync our Christmas cultural references. Okay. I said twas the night before Christmas. Yeah. For you, that's not today, right? That's the twenty fourth. Because right. you consider Christmas the twenty fifth. Correct. Because technically it is like Christmas a, Day. Like a crazy person. Then then uh, <laughs> why does this calendar only have twenty four beers? Because it's Advent, which is different. Advent uh, Advent goes to the twenty fourth. Goes to um, the eve of that's, Christmas. That's a cheap cop out if I ever heard one. No, I, I, look, I didn't set the rules for Advent. It goes up to Christmas Day. I consider and then Christmas Day is the day you get all of your presents and everything. So it's the build up to Christmas. I consider today the day before Christmas. You're wrong. That's okay. <laughs> all of Sweden is wrong. <laughs> all of Scandinavia is wrong. Mm-hmm. You can't handle the truth. Yeah. You want, the, <laughs> you want Christmas? You can't handle you Christmas. You can't handle the Christmas. Mm. So it's bitter, but it's also fruity. It is that's, fruity. That's the combination I yeah. want from a strong IPA. Yeah, and it's got a really nice mouthfeel to it. It's got it's rich. It's got a body to it. Yeah, yeah. I would be happy if I bought a pint of this out on the pub. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of like almost like a rye IPA, yeah. which to me has a lot more character and body to it. And this feels like kind of feels like that. It's got. Um, now that you say it, rye IPAs are really common. How common are wheat IPAs? Uh, well, this is winter wheat IPA. So this is not the spring wheat. This is a different varietal of wheat that's only grown during the winter months. Did you just make that up? I did not make that. There are, because there are different planting cycles, seasons, based on the climates and the way the temperatures go. There's, there's, there's something actually called like spring wheat and winter wheat, or summer I, wheat and winter wheat. I'm glad this is a podcast and not a video uh, v- <laughs> vlog because I am a question mark right now. You this, do, you are. There's a little like, this, like, there's a little question mark above your head. Like, is he just making shit up? This is this is no. mind blowing for me. I have never heard of winter wheat. Well, I grew up in a agricultural community where they grew uh, out on the farm, actually, y'all. Well, it was farm adjacent. Yeah, um, I didn't live on the farm, but uh, my entire community was surrounded by farmland for yeah. for miles and miles and miles. And there was winter wheat that was grown. So um, winter wheat tastes like. I mean, it's just like wheat, but it's got, I mean, there's a, look, I know, a difference. Like, I'm not that versed in it. I'm just saying that there is a difference between summer wheat and winter wheat, but I, I could not go into 
the finer points of okay. agricultural I'll, I'll, husbandry. I don't know if that's how you would phrase this. <laughs> I will. I will take what you say as truth because I I don't know anything about this, but I, I do like this beer. I do too. And I'd heard kind of mixed things about this. I was like, I don't know about this one, but uh, those people are damn fools. Because they didn't like it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I got to say, this is really nice. This is, there's a lot of character, a lot of flavor. It's fruity in ways that a lot of the other IPAs we've had this month have not been. Exactly. When we were more than halfway through, I was kind of disappointed almost. Because there yeah. were some beers that were, yeah, sessions, some were meh. But to yesterday and today have really picked up. Um, yeah, I would say the um, past few days have been a real. Yeah. Um, with that last week, the last week is really going to the home stretch. They've they brought their A game kind of um, some much better stuff than some of the previous months or previous weeks. Mm. I'm ready to give this a four. I'm ready to give it a four as well. Um, I believe they actually sold this in a um, uh, a can as well. The hmm. um, fifty cylinder cans. Okay. Like the pretzel and Gretel. Oh right. That came out. Yes. Yeah. Because um, I really remember the the logo from this. Uh, so yeah, I think four is a solid review on this. It's quite nice. Okay. So that was I need to the learn, night before Christmas. What? I need to learn more about winter wheat. Well, I mean, do you want to Google it real quick and tell us a little bit of like the preliminary results of winter wheat? It's not really a thing in Sweden. Maybe it's not. It's very possible that it's a, a U.S. thing. Okay. And maybe it's called yeah. something else in Sweden. Maybe there's a different name for it here. Or it could be that it's just... Too cold to grow here, no. so they can't. They can't do winter wheat. They have to do it no, we, further we, south. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, so in Sweden, mm -hmm. we we wouldn't say winter vete. Okay. Uh, vete is wheat. Yeah, yes. Oh, what, what what what? It's called winter wheat. Is mm -hmm. our normal wheat. Okay. And the thing that's spring wheat or summer mm -hmm. wheat. That's what we call quality wheat. Kvalitetsvete. Okay. So we, we differentiate like normal wheat and really good wheat. Right. Because it's during the summer months where it's getting more sun and can pack in more vitamins and nutrients, I guess, in the wheat itself. Yeah. So this is just the the logum wheat. Yeah. I, I, all, uh, I also have the Latin names <laughs> oh, for it. Oh, okay. Well, so our normal wheat, the winter yes. wheat, is uh, Triticum vulgare var hibernum. So okay. hibernation kind of. Yeah. And the quality wheat is Triticum vulgare var Aestivum. I don't know what that, where, that's, <laughs> where, that, where that would fit. So now you've learned uh, your daily dose of Latin. And a lot more about wheat than you probably ever thought which, you would ever know on which, a beer podcast. Which will be perfect tomorrow for Christmas Eve uh, with your family when you're sitting around eating food and drinking drinks. You can, you can entertain them. You can impress them with your wheat knowledge. Yes. Okay. That's what we're here for. That's, that's what we're going to do. Yes. We're going to eat ham and pickled herring and impress people with our wheat knowledge. I promise you I will bring up uh, the difference between normal wheat and quality wheat. Uh, because I have a family that's very quiz-oriented. They love oh, quiz. Oh, they'll they, love the shit out of this. They then. love knowledge. <laughs> they will go, what? No, there's only one type of wheat. And they will get into a discussion about it. Yes. It will be great. And then you can just slap your, your fat dick on the table just like... Listen here. <laughs> I only do that when I'm with you, Stefan. Oh, okay. Well, I feel special. Not the family. Okay. That would be a little crude, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Inappropriate. Yes. Will your sister be there? Yeah. And yeah. her kids. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be great. All right. Okay. Well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Merry Christmas. This podcast is part of the Pod Syndicate family. For more criminally compelling shows, articles, and conversations, head to wearepodsyndicate.com.